I'm Jay Hoodie. And I'm Drunk Dang. We are No, no chaser. chaser. What you got on them tonight, Jay Hoodie? And let me tell you something. As soon as you pulled this bottle out, the first thing I said was, I think I'm about to drink a beer. Well, yeah. It because kinda... it looks like a beer, like a 40 ounce beer bottle that you get from yeah. the. Yeah, yeah. Like some new brand that came like 211 came it's out like with a, a special reserve or some bull crap it's like, like that. King Cobra Gold Edition. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. you know like, yeah. yeah, you got King Cobra Gold Edition. That's a great, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like um, that. All right, talk to me about it a little bit. We just came back from a cruise recently. Mm -hmm. And um, on the cruise ship, I found this. It's Hennessy Pure White. Pure White. Not available anywhere but the Caribbean. Can't buy this in the United States, but you can buy it on the cruise ship. Gotcha. Um, 80 bucks a bottle. 80 proof. Um, Question. Yes. I'm going to ask you off the top. Why is it called pure white? Yeah. Because it is not white. It is not white. As you can see, it's, it, it's brown. It's called pure white because this is a cognac, and cognac's made with grapes. The grapes these are made from are white grapes. Gotcha. That hint, pure white Hennessy. Regular Hennessy's made with red grapes. Um, the reason this isn't distributed worldwide is the grape they make this with in France is very limited. So they only make a small amount of this every year, which is why it's not distributed worldwide. Gotcha. Price point. What's the price point? Uh, 80 bucks. Now that's 80 bucks Caribbean money? Well, <laughs> what, what I learned in the Caribbean was the Bahamian dollar is dollar for dollar with the U.S. Oh, dollar. okay. So something else is as shitty as our dollar. Then. Yeah, yeah pretty, much, right. pretty much. Um, but 80 bucks, that still ain't a bad price. And, you know, looking at the packaging here, like I said, I really like the packaging. Um, I mentioned the beer thing, but I like that. And normally we say that good alcohol, what? Comes has a cork. cork. I don't think this has a cork. I don't think it does either. But I like the top on it. I really um, like the label. The reason this bottle looks like a beer bottle, for some reason, most fifths of liquor are 750 milliliters. For some reason, they bottle this in 700 milliliters. Okay. Not real sure why, but hence the smaller bottle. Gotcha. You're, you're not getting as much liquor for your 80 bucks as you are a reg, uh, you know, a regular fifth. I'm not even sure it's almost a fifth. Now, in the Caribbean, you can buy this at your local bar? You can buy it at the bar in the Caribbean in any of the islands. So it's, 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 available it's available all at, over the Caribbean? All over the Caribbean. Just not here? Just not here. All right. Because, like I said, because of the, the grapes it's made with, there's a limited quantity of them, so they can't have worldwide distribution. And what's the proof on this bad boy? It is 80 proof. 80 proof, so it's real whiskey. Now, or it's cognac. cognac. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Hennessy. I like it. Um, well, let me take that back. I don't dislike Hennessy. It's just I'm never going to be the one when we go in the liquor store to go, hey, get a bottle of Henny. Right. You know, if you got a bottle of Hennessy now, we'll then drink. you'll drink. We'll yeah, drink. Yeah. But, but it's not your thing. Not yeah. Well, yeah. I actually like Hennessy, so I'm looking forward to this. And like I said, I really love the packaging. I really love the way it looks. So how are we gonna do it? Well, you know how this goes. Rocks. Mm -hmm. Neat. And the shooter. Shooter. Rate it one through five. One. Throw it out. One. Don't buy it on the cruise ship no more. Five, five by three cases. Five by three cases That's next right. time you get on the cruise ship. All right. Well, let's get it poured up. And while he's doing that, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to take a look at the big board. And tonight, because we had a dismissal last week, which was Blue Shark Vodka. Blue Shark Vodka came off the big board after a pretty good run on the big board. So let's take a look here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But if you can't, I'm going to read it out to you so it don't matter. So at number 10, we have Jägermeister, which I think might be in trouble tonight. Number nine, we have Wild Turkey American Honey. Number eight, The Devil's Sister, which, you know, I love that shit. Yeah, that was good. Number seven, The Proper. Number 12, which I killed out a bottle of that the other week over here by my dang self. Yeah, while I was on the cruise. Elmer T. Lee, which, you know, I spill more of that than I drink. Yeah, you do. That's how good that is. Number five, The Old Man That'll Fix the Shit Down the Road. Good old Mr. Henry McKinnis. Henry McKinnis. Henry McKinnis. Number four, we got the, uh, oh, Ava Gordon Select. I had almost forgot about that. That bottle's sitting over there in the corner. Ava Gordon? Ava Garden. Gardner. 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 I can't read these people's right. Number three, <laughs> number three, we got good old Blanton's. Number two, Eagle Rare. And number one, the new reigning champion, 
Well, Below the wheel. Well, mills all oh malt. Now, I think this is going to have to go pretty far to get up that high. But I am expecting, I am expecting some controversy here tonight. Okay. I'm expecting some controversy. Like I said, I'm going into this not a big fan of Hennessy. So this is going to have to wow me a little. It, now, I will say this. Now, I can see already, as soon as you poured it on the rocks, it turned white. It's almost like oh, that it little did. bit of water in oh, down. Oh, it did. Cleared it up a little Cleared bit. Cleared it up a little bit. So let's see how it holds its own right. on the rocks. Because as we all know, you have no chance of making the big board if you don't hold mm -hmm. your own on the rocks. It smells good. It does smell good. Let's give it a go here. There you go first. Oh, wow. That's good. That is excellent. Very smooth. No burn. No. No, that is very smooth. It, now, I'm sure we'll get a little burn once we get the neat and shot. Now, what's the flavor profile on cognac? Because I'm getting, I, I, I want to almost say this tastes grapey. Cognac's made with grapes, but it's aged in barrels. Now, I'm not sure if anything else is added. I didn't see nothing on the bottle. Yeah. But I'm really getting that, that uh, grapey taste off of that. Um, I really like that. I don't know much about cognac. I don't drink much cognac. I don't either. But I, I do know really the good. main ingredient of this is grapes. Yeah, you can you can really taste the grapes, and it holds its own on the rocks for sure. Mm -hmm. um, very little watering down. It's so smooth. Yeah, it's very smooth. It's scary smooth. It's like there's no burn. It doesn't at all. It doesn't drink eighty proof. Mm -mm. Um, I but I'm starting to think nothing don't drink the proof that we drink it. Like when we drink it, we always say it, don't drink the proof. Well, maybe it's us. I think it's us. Oh, it's pretty good. Could be. Well, that's pretty good. I like it. I'm telling you, it's not an overwhelming taste. No, it's almost like you get that grape at the beginning and yep. then it's just smooth the rest it's of the way down. the rest of the way. On the rocks. On the rocks. Now I'm sure we're going to water down a little bit. I'm sure we're going to get a little heat night. on the neat and the shot. Pretty sure. And like I said, it's hot out here tonight, so that little bit of watering down. But it did hold its own on the rocks for sure. Um, I'm impressed so far. I'm telling you. Uh, I mean, this this is a uh, yeah. Not being a fan, like this drinks so much smoother than regular Hennessy. Absolutely. Regular Hennessy has a little bite to it. Yeah. Um. This is really light. And it's almost like um, we may do a compare video too. Save the rest of this and get us a bottle of regular Henny. Yeah, we could do that. But let me, what I'm getting off of it, I mean, I almost feel like if there was a such thing as light liquor, mm -hmm. that's what this would be. It's Diet Hennessy. Diet Hennessy. There you Hennessy go. Zero. Hennessy Zero. Hennessy Zero. There you yeah. go. That, 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 that sounds about right. I really like that great um, place. Yeah. I don't care what happens with these other two. I could drink this like this all day, every day. Yeah, and it sneak up on you. Oh yes, they proof. This is one of them. If you if you you coming home from work or whatever, and you gonna kick back and watch some TV, maybe grill some pork chops or something, and you start drinking this on the rocks, you get real trouble real fast. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you may not make it through. I mean, you might get the food cooked, but you ain't cleaning the grill. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you ain't cleaning the grill. So for sure. Um. Pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Now I'm interested to see how much heat this does pass. Yes, because this is going to be, because, you know, sometimes I think we just do the rocks for formality. Because we really get into it when we get into the meat bowl. Well, you get all your flavor profiles when you're not watering it down. Well, let's give it a shot here. So you can smell the grape. You can smell yeah. the grape. I mean, it's. It's like big boy grape juice. Yeah, exactly. This is like a. Remember, we always want to open a Kona Ice, adult Kona Ice. Yeah. This would be perfect to put in the grape slush. Yeah, yeah. Perfect to put in there. Yeah. Oh my god. Same thing. And there's no burn. burn. Still no burn. burn whatsoever. You could literally, um, well, I could. We could. I wouldn't recommend this to you, but you could probably turn this bottle up. Oh, absolutely. You can probably turn this bottle up and drink it because it is that freaking right. smooth. Come over on a Saturday, my happy. <laughs> we Let's go in one more here. Um, 
this is exactly like the rocks, except it's more great. More great, yeah. It doesn't water down the great. Yeah, you know, I was expecting some burn here. And here's the thing: when I say great, and I know he, he's thinking the same thing. We're not. There's no like wine it's grape. white grapes. Like wine grapes. Yes, this is not uh, purple grapes. Yeah, this is definitely same, white grapes. Yeah, right. And you, you know, and when I say great, anybody that drinks wine knows what I mean by great. It's not like grape juice, right? But like great. Yeah, it's out. It's got a. I don't want to describe it as this, but I'm gonna use the word anyway. It's almost got a. It's pleasantly bitter, right? Which you know is, what I mean. It's got a little bit of bitter. Well, on I mean, it. most of the time your white grapes are a little bit more tart. Oh, and that's you can tell that here because regular Hennessy is a little sweeter. Yeah, it's really really good. I'd be interested to find out what kind of barrels these are aged in. Yeah, because like, you don't get no barrel. Well, but I don't. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Like, is it? Um, because you know, as it ages, it gets more charcoaly. It gets more right. What, whatever the flavor on what profile kind of is. Barrel they put yeah. in. So it's, it, I'll be interested to see what type of barrel they put this in. Yeah, I'll have to do some more research. But and it is made by the same. I mean, this is Hennessy. Hennessy. This ain't this ain't a. Yeah, it's not a celebrity or right. anything like that. It's it, this is straight up him. Good old him. Yeah. Got some of that Henny. Yeah, that Henny. Let's go in one more on this meat pour. Go and finish this off. Talk about a few things, yeah. I mean, I mean, there is no burn whatsoever. But that is okay. So you drink stuff, and you don't get no burn off of it. You don't feel like you're drinking nothing. But this is not that. Right. This is no burn, but you know you're drinking something. You know what I mean? It's not a. It's not one of them deals where, say, you pick up something at the liquor store to try for the first time, and you get like nothing that. out of it. Yeah, like that. It's the shit we were drinking before we saw yeah. um, This has definitely got its own distinct flavor profile. Flavor yeah. profile. This tastes nothing like regular Hennessy. No, not a, not a, not a thing like it, that. It, if I, I came into this thinking, okay, I know what Hennessy tastes like, so I'm not, I don't have high expectations of this, because it's just going to be some little variation of regular Hennessy, but this is totally different. Yeah. This is... Uh, you know, if you drink Hennessy and you like Hennessy, you can't, I wouldn't say that you would like this because it, it's very, you know, it's two different things. Right. It's, well, it, well, you know, uh, yeah, it's absolutely two well, different Well, you know, things. a lot of times absolutely when, when the one brand of liquor will come off with something new, it's just a little bit different than what the regular was. Right. This isn't one of those. No, absolutely not. Um, this is a thing of its own. I like this a lot better than regular Hennessy. Now, let me ask you, and I don't know if you've done the research, why can we only buy it in the Caribbean? Well, now that I don't know. <laughs> the grapes are grown in France. Right. So I'm not sure why. Maybe it's a limitation on the grapes or whatever. Well, like well, they only get well, so much it, to make yeah, the they only, or whatever. The grapes are limited, but I don't know why it's just limited to the Caribbean. Right. I don't know if that's just where they figured they could sell a bunch of it on cruise ships or... You know, right? And market it that way, because everybody that I know that's brought this home has been on a cruise ship. Well, you know what would have been interesting to see, and let's go on and do another little bit of this meat pour because what would have been interesting to see is how much they were charging for it by the shot. Oh, I'll tell on you. On land. Now I'll tell you what. I've been online. People bring this shit home, and they'll sell it for two hundred dollars a bottle. Just shot of a cap there. You know, nice little cap. Resale on this online, the cheapest bottle I could find was 200 Now, is this a whiskey chaser type deal? Oh, they, yeah. Oh, yeah. They definitely go on the cruise yeah. ships, bring this back, and sell it for 100 and, yeah. 120 like 130, I said, 140 Like bucks. I said, online, the cheapest bottle of this I could find was 200 bucks. Well, it's like we were talking about earlier. We got a buddy. We would, we would trade this to him. Right. And I went that I, I something that yeah, we started I, I wish to do I'd that. About two, started to do that. So. And I'd have had one to barter with with him. Let's go in here for but this I'm, meeting. I'm not big on bartering liquor. We drank it. Yeah. Here no chaser. We drank our liquor. We drank our liquor. Let's go in here for another little meat pour. 
it's not controversial, but we'll call it controversial. Well, we might have a little controversy here at the end, maybe. Yeah, I'm just trying to shoot us one back. Um, if the shooter's as smooth as the rest of it, then Jesus. Well, like I said, the, 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 the more we go into this, the more stuff we get, whether it be through purchasing or our great fans that give us stuff, stuff starts getting knocked off the big board. Uh, well, let's see, I knew eventually it would. And, 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 and I think there's some stuff in danger here tonight. There's some stuff in danger here tonight. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. did you shoot the neat pour again? It was good. Anyway, got a few things to say. First of all, thank y'all. Like and subscribe. Share yeah. it if you dare. I I don't believe anybody will share this to their regular Facebook yeah. page. Um, I just wanted to. I got a I got a t shirt. Oh, by the way, yeah, Jay Hood's oh, new yeah. t shirt. Oh wait, I got that. I don't got one yet. Our uh, apparel committee. Didn't see fit to make me one for whatever I'd reason. I'd show you the I back no if I turn around my paper. There. I'm getting to the bottom of it. Baby. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. <clears throat> but uh, I just want to say a couple things tonight. Um, uh, I know y'all were probably looking for a drunk story, and I got a little something that happened the other night. But first thing I want to say is um, over the holiday, a uh, person that had a pretty big influence on my life, uh, a teacher I had in high school, Mr. June Tobias, passed away. And uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to his. Stop bullshitting yeah. me. And that's what I wanted to say. You know, he used to, I'd come in this class and he'd say, Oh, Mr. Howard, you're bullshitting me, boy. Bullshit you're bullshitting me. me. And then he'd say, But Mr. Howard, don't worry, B.I.P. Because, you know, don't worry, be happy. Yeah, was, and, but yeah. when in high school, we don't had. Don't worry, B.I.P. Yeah, uh, in school suspension was called B.I.P., Behavior Improvement Program. And he would say, Mr. Howard, don't, I'd be tardy. He'd say, Mr. Howard, you're tardy, but don't worry, B.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. June uh, Tobias, and he would wear cowboy boots. He loved country music, and, and uh, pulled his pants up way yeah. high. We used to call him Billy Ray Tobias. Billy Ray Tobias, <laughs> super cool dude. Yeah, super cool dude. Um, had a big influence on my life. I, I hope he rests in peace. I he had, lived to be 80, 84, I think. I had the so privilege to life. have him and his wife. I had his wife yeah, in middle school. Of them. Yeah, good people. The people. So y'all got somebody out there that influenced your life or had an impact on your life. Mr. Tobias had an impact on my life. The way he carried himself, the way he took every day as um, fun. You know what I mean? The man, the man worked 30 years and never missed a day of school. And so uh, just a big influence on my life. So may he rest in peace. I appreciate all the, 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 the comical moments he gave me in Absolutely. high school because he was definitely hilarious. And, and any of you out there that we have influenced your life, <laughs> um, do better. Do better. Yeah, we ain't influenced nobody. Do better. Life. The other thing I want to talk about is the other night we went to the soccer game. And that was um, Saturday night. Saturday night. It was Saturday night. And we got pretty wasted. It was a pretty big night in Charlotte. Uh, it's a great game. Great and 4-1 um, for the crown. Yeah, we scored four goals. And about the third goal... My fat ass decided, because I was drunk, that I was 150 pounds and was going to throw my big leg over the rail and wave my towel in there and get the crowd going. Well, that's pretty good Saturday. And I woke up Monday morning, <laughs> my left nut was in my throat. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah. I reached down there to feel them while I was in the shower, and I could feel the tender spots. You know what I mean? You know, that kind of thing. Well, we ain't spring chicken. And so, yeah, that, I mean, I, and, and I won't do that again. You'll get drunk. I will never do that again. I'm never throwing my leg over the rail at Bank of America Stadium and waving my towel in the hair oh. like a helicopter oh, again. Oh, oh you'll, you'll get drunk doing it again. Because it freaking bruised my nuts. He'll get drunk doing it. Bruised them, He'll for drunk. sure. He'll get drunk doing it And the other thing I want to talk about tonight before we move on, uh -oh. and this ain't even funny. So, I dropped my phone yesterday <laughs> and cracked it. Now, I got to get a new cell phone. Now, mind y'all, I'm 42 years old. So the biggest phone I have ever had is about the size of this Coke Zero can. This little mini right here. Now, I want y'all to look at this monstrosity I had to buy today. Somebody graduated to the big boy phone. I can't this damn thing in my pocket. I ain't got no ass. I have to pull my uh, strings so tight anyway to keep my britches up. There's no way I can carry this. This is absolutely ridiculous, young people. Millennials, this is ridiculous. There is no reason 
Dang. for it's, something that all you're supposed to do is talk to mine. It's like, you know, I went to a ball game the other day with a buddy, and they had on one of them Fitbit watches. Right? I asked him what time it was. He said, I don't know. I don't use my watch for that. And he pulled out a cell phone. What? Yeah. It's like we, we don't use nothing for what it's intended for anymore. This is absolutely insanity. There's no excuse for this. I just thought I'd throw that in there because I'm pissed off because i got to carry it around now. It's like a freaking brick. I might as well be carrying a bottle of liquor in my pocket. Well, I mean, leave it on at home and take it down. That's what I'm going to do because I'm not carrying that any damn way. Uh, That's for sure. If anybody needs to get in touch with Drunk Dane, call me. Call him. I'm with him. Yeah, we're usually together. I'm with him. So, shout out to Mr. June Tobias. Never going to throw my leg over the rail again and crush my nuts. And <laughs> if the phones get any bigger, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's get back into this a little bit. I want to do a little further analysis on this. Because, again, we're looking at the big board. There ain't much left to bump off, y'all. There really ain't. The, the one, one, but Amer I mean, wild turkey American honey was absolutely phenomenal. Well, that can't all be done. So here we go. <coughs> Finish off this. All right. Neat pour. And now we're going to get into the shooter. And this is the real deal right here. Let me tell you something. If this doesn't burn, then I'm going to bring eight cases of this home well, in the next cruise. Well, that, that, that brings up another question. How important is the burn? Because when I'm drinking... Well, I like the burn. Because the burn lets you know when you've had enough. lets you know when you've had enough. It lets you know right. So, I'm right. done for all the right. night. Right. This right here would not, make you drink right on and on and no, on. No, we'd kill out that little bottle and then we'd be miserable tomorrow. If you, like, what would you mix this with? If you, you know, mix it with something. Um, apple juice? That would be good. Probably. Like a Snapple. Think like a Snapple, put a shot of this in it. Yeah, that would be on time. Or any kind of hard cider, so you get double the alcohol. Right, double. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Let's see what it do. Please don't be good. Please don't be good. Well, we're gonna find that's gonna be good. It's good. Please. We're gonna have some controversy here tonight. Please don't be good. We might have to do. We might have to drink this whole bottle. Um, we might have to drink the whole bottle. Not about it. Look at the vultures. Look at them. Look at the vultures. We got four in the studio audience tonight. Remember what we tell y'all? If we say it sucks, they go on in the house and make a sandwich. If we say it's good, they smother the table like a bunch of freaking yeah, honeybees. As soon as the camera goes off, they come running. Shooter's good. Oh my God. Shooter's good. Here's, here, let me take the that. shooter is good. Let me take that back. <laughs> I will not be purchasing any more of this on the cruise ship. That's some bit shoots like that. I've been drunk as hell. Oh, you're going to be down at the AA hood. No. <laughs> trying to keep my daughters off the poles. My son's out of jail. Let's do that shooter one more yeah, time. Yeah, let's do that again. Because I want to get a good taste of that. Because I'm telling you, it's getting to the point where it's tight margins. It's some tight margins. I'm kind of wondering what this is, too. You know, a lot of times they'll put that the little drunk nipple. They'll put that little drunk nipple, in, but that it this doesn't impede the liquor coming out like the drunk well, nipple does. And I started to say something about that earlier when I was talking about I the just, packaging. I just noticed it. It's almost like, cause you know, when or you maybe get, because this is on cruise ships and they know it's going to be packed away and stuff. Well, here's this the thing: is a little something to keep it from. If you leaking. go to the liquor store and buy half a gallon of liquor and it's got the drunk nipple in it with the uh, inside ring, right? That's to keep the air out when you're pouring it, right? So it doesn't gush. Maybe that's a redesign of the ring Maybe. to keep it from gushing, which would add, which would add to the value of what we're talking about because packaging matters, no matter what this mofo says. Packaging matters. No, it does not. It does matter. I, you can freaking this, matters. You can put this in a plastic bottle and it's still going to be good. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't know what it was in a plastic bottle. That's like when I bring my plastic bottle of E-Dub, Everybody says, what's this? Like, that's the question. But, <laughs> yeah, what's this? E-Dub. But you drink it, and you don't feel like it's E-Dub. Some of us drink it more than the others. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, nobody likes E-Dub until they run out of alcohol. Then they're like, dang, 
Give you some got any e dub? <laughs> nah, they don't even call it e dub. Give them some of that liquor. Yeah, give them some of that liquor. Some of that liquor. And I always have some left, of course, because I over plan. I don't like to go somewhere and not be prepared. Yeah, you can so, never. Yeah, he <laughs> makes sure he has enough liquor. Yeah, I mean, I make sure. I make sure I got enough to, for everybody to drink a lot on the way there, maintain while I'm there, and have a couple sips on the way home before I pass out. And this is how I pass out. Uh uh This is how you passed out the other night. Pretty bad. Like that. So that's how you do it. You got to have enough for the pregame. Enough for the game. And then just a little bit extra. Just a little bit for the way out. <laughs> just a little bit for the way out. Let's get this shooter in. Get this thing a rating. Because I'm ready. Because I want to hear what you got to say about it. Because the shooter. See, that's, that's the thing. You... Go I mean, first, take it away. I mean, no reason to beat around the bush here. Coming from a guy who does not like regular hen, does not care for regular Hennessy, this shit's good. Right. I mean, the flavor profile on it is amazing. All three ways. I mean, I, I just knew I was going to get some kind of burn in one of these. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, you could drink this... All night. Now it's eighty proof. Yeah, it is eighty proof. And you're gonna know it tomorrow. But Which I could. We are. <laughs> but I could drink this bottle with no problem. Um, this is, it's five across the board. Five across the board. Yeah. So it's going on the big board no matter what I say. Yeah. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna have to uh, be a little bit honest here. Um, a little bit weak for me. I love the great profile. I love the no burn, but I'm one of those guys, the harsher, the better. I'm one of those guys that you hand me the rock gut, and I'm probably going to give it a higher rating than, than most people would. Right. And so this is more of, this is one of those things I'd be proud to put in my liquor cabinet. If I had guests coming over, if I had, um, you know, hosting a party, it would look good in my liquor cabinet. It would also pour good. It would look, you know. Offer a man a drink of this, and, and he would love it. Your beginning drinker can drink this. Beginner drinker can drink it, absolutely. On the rocks, it holds its own. On the neat, it's pretty good. I actually would shoot this if oh, it was yeah. me. Uh, yeah. I would definitely shoot it. And that's rare for him. I'm going to give it a four on all three phases. It's a solid four. It, it could be upgraded um, depending on if this was something that I drank over time. And I came to like it really right. good. I could upgrade it to a five. So I'm going to give it a four. You gave it a five. So that's and, all we need. And, it doesn't matter what I say. And, and here's the thing. If we were reviewing regular Hennessy, I would probably gave it a three and a half. So coming into this, I was like, nah, you know, right. this may be three and a half, four maybe. 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 But this is nothing like regular Hennessy. Yeah, I feel you. Um do another while we talk about it a little bit. So that's why it got the five for me. I came into this going, okay, I'm going to have to be wild for this one to be a five. Right. Well, I was. And I'm basing that on the fact that this is the best kind of Hennessy they make. It's definitely the best Hennessy I've ever had. There's no doubt about that. If I'm put, like you said, you want to do a comparison? If I'm putting this next to regular Hennessy, this is winning. All day long. This is winning all day long. Oh, yeah. So, five for you, four for me, but it only takes one. That's right. So, it's on the big board. So, I'm going to leave it up to you, Jay Hoodie, to where it goes. Because see. I gave it a four, you gave it a five. Something's getting bumped tonight. We'll see what it is. I'm going to leave it up to Jay Hoodie. That's his call. I would we board up. I would put it at seven. Really? I would, I would drop proper 12. Wow. I was thinking 10. Turkey. Wow. Okay. And Jägermeister comes off the board. Jägermeister comes off the board. Well, that is what it is. Now, I, I'm not going to say that I agree with that, but you're the one that gave it the five. So if you say a seven, you're I, dropping I, proper number 12. I would choose this over these three. So you're dropping proper If I had a choice between this or either three of these, I'd take this. Jägermeister's off the board. Wild Turkey American Hunt drops down to 10. Devil Sister drops down to 9. And Hopper 12 drops down to 8. eight. 
But look at the stuff above it. You know what it sounds like to me? Controversy. Mm-hmm. It's controversy. We gotta do one more shot. Hey, gotta we, do one more shot of it. Hey, we got one. Yeah, we got one. Let's do it. Here we go. Solid four. That's a five all day. Five all day. All right. So we're putting this at number seven. Number seven. That's what it is. You ready for some back porch yours? He's Drew Dang. And I'm Jay Hoodie. No, he's Jay Hoodie. <laughs> Somebody's yeah. Jay Hoodie. Somebody's Jay Hoodie. Up in this motherfucker. We are. <laughs> no, no chaser. chaser. <laughs>